New at 10, retail theft still going strong here in Utah. And just today, police in Sandy posted a picture of a man they say used a stolen credit card to buy a significant amount of property from Best Buy. I'm Heidi Hatch. Thanks for being with us. And I'm Mark Cabell. Also today, a new law went into effect as a direct result of all the retail crime that's affecting the state of Utah. Our Jim Spiewak joining us live outside the Best Buy. And Jim, law enforcement has been asking for tougher laws. Will anything have any teeth here? So that remains to be seen, at least at this point. We're standing outside the Best Buy that you just mentioned a little bit earlier. And while they have been a victim before, I had a chance to talk with an employee at another retailer. He says that he sees theft quite a bit, and all he could really do was let security know. And in turn, they just call the police. It's pretty sad that, like, you know, you can't just go in and buy um, the day-to-day -day necessities that you need without having to ask for help. Retail therapy these days can sometimes be more stressful than relaxing. Shopper Ali Sayert hasn't experienced theft firsthand, but does see a shift happening. We're just going to have a lot more risks involved as people are going back into physical malls and shops. Today, a new federal law went into effect, passed as a direct result of retail crime theft. The law requires online retailers like Amazon, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace to verify high volume online resellers. There's been a sense of kind of lawlessness right now in the United States, and that is really truly what we need to um, break. Christopher McGordy is the founder of an association that's been working to curb retail crime theft for more than 10 years. He says the new law adds a layer of accountability for anonymous sellers who steal from brick and mortar and then try to unload that stolen stuff online or other counterfeit or harmful goods. Do you think the teeth of this law will really work and help the problem? You know, it's hard to say because it's brand new. You know, I, I think we have to kind of come back and revisit it and see where we are. McGordy says that it could be a slow move away from the more extreme safety measures shoppers are seeing in stores to protect their merchandise. We have to make sure we're holding people accountable. And, you know, for the district attorneys out there, we hope that they will follow through and prosecute people if they're committing crimes. And speaking of accountability, the Federal Trade Commission will be the ones to enforce this new law. Online retailers, they can be fined up to $50,000 per, transa per transaction for not complying with this new law. We're live in Sandy tonight, Jim Spiewak, KUTV2 News.